All right, I have nine o'clock. Call this meeting to order. This is the time and place for the public hearing and meeting on the matter of the authorization of a loan agreement and the issuance of not to exceed 10.8 million general obligation capital loan notes in order to provide funds to pay the cost of the acquisition of peace officer and other emergency services, communication equipment, and systems for essential county purposes. And that notice of the proposed action by the board to institute proceedings for the authorization of the loan agreement and the issuance of notes has been published as provided by sections 331.402 and 331.443 of the Code of Iowa. It is now 9.01 a.m. and I move the board to go into public hearing regarding this matter. Second. McIntyre? Aye. Shaw? Aye. DeCook? Aye. It has been moved and seconded that the board go into public hearing. Okay, you've already done that? Okay. Um, the motion carries and the board is now in public hearing. Your time. Okay, has there been any written objections um, been filed against any resident or property owner of the county to the issuance of the notes? Has there been anything come in down at the auditor's office? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Are there any oral objections to the issuance of the notes? time to hear any oral objections. Okay, I'm noting zero. Time for receiving oral and written objections is now closed. It is now 9.02 a.m. I will really close the public hearing on this matter. I second the motion. De Cook? Aye. Schultz? Aye. McIntyre? Aye. Okay, uh, the motion carries on the public hearing on the authorization of entering into a loan agreement and the issuance of notes is closed. Okay, now let's go into discussion about what we have before us. <coughs> just concerning the, the loan itself, or can we discuss just You can discuss everything. anything you want. Okay, good. In my, oh, were we supposed to get to him? Um, in speaking to Omnicom, uh, I learned that the way that Motorola separated the symbols from the equipment um, was a very rock bottom price, and I doubt that we're gonna get any better price than what we have from Motorola in the civils. Um, I know in the long run, if we end up going with Motorola, it'd probably be the best because we're dealing with one entity, but um, I'm not happy about the price. Uh, I, I don't think there is anybody who is, but I have heard from the users. I've been a part of this process, and I know that it is very needed and to spend any more time uh, other than what they required um, going out for the civils would require. I don't wanna waste any more. And so I would accept a motion to, or I'd like to hear your thoughts first before we accept a motion. 
to accept this up to these funds. My thoughts are, are this, and I've, I've shared with our county attorney and others, in that and Motorola, I've spoken with Tim and Ozzy Town. My thoughts are, I think it was right to separate out the civils because we requested an opinion from our county attorney, and I think you have to follow that opinion, even if other counties are not doing it. Because I think it sets a bad precedent to request an opinion from your county attorney and then not follow that. These are the people that are going to represent us in the event that we get sued or litigation brought forth. So I, I'm good with that aspect of bidding out the civils. But it does present a problem in that, uh, one, in the event that uh, someone else comes in and underbids the civil portion, now we have multiple entities working on the project. I think that could theoretically, probably likely, delay things to some extent. Two, in the event that um, the bidding out on the civil portion of this takes a long time, um, I think it's plausible to have a number higher than the 9.5 that was pitched to us two or three weeks ago. Um, because what's to say that Motorola wouldn't come back with higher pricing if, if the deal we had to restart it and, and go forward again if the civil portion was higher. So to that end, I was somewhat concerned about um, not so much the two-week delay or whatever, but um, I was somewhat concerned that by doing this action, we might be higher than where we were two weeks ago when we were sitting here, displeased about the price to begin with, and that's a real concern. Um, we did need to find out whether or not we could uh, put a different tower provider on the Hooper Tower site. That has been confirmed by the governor's office and their staff that we cannot. Um, we try diligently, but it is what it is, and that, that means that being the entirety of the whole thing as it sits now presented by the 911 board to us means that if we did bid it, um, Raytheon, which is sadly, um, and I greatly dislike this, that there's only really two providers that are doing this sort of work in Iowa. It would be much better to have five or six providers um, that we could head against each other and beat them up, but then there's only two. That doesn't bode well or as well. Um, but if they have to build another tower site to get the exact same specs as what, what's been presented, I think that's going to make it very difficult for them because the tower's at, at a minimum $750,000 and maybe a million, um, maybe eight hundred. dollars I don't know. But it is what it is. So that takes some of the potential padding and money saved off of their bid. So my concerns were that it would. Increase in price, I think that would make us look, um, it would put us in a bad light if we were at 9.5 two weeks ago and now the project's more than that. Um, and so I met with Brian from Motorola and I'm going to let him speak a little bit about sort of the Motorola plan A and plan 1A or B or whatever you want to do, um, which would sort of secure some pricing it would give us maybe another 60 days to take the specs on the symbols, which are already very detailed. Um, and so it shouldn't be that difficult for Omnicom um, to ship out the civil specs and get some bids back on that ASAP if we go that route. Um, so I'll let Brian chime in on what his thoughts were on that, and then the number might have leaked down just the down. <coughs> Yes, so I um, met with Aaron, um, listened to his concerns as he's kind of laid out today. Um, through this entire process, uh, Motorola has continued to try to work toward an end goal for, for Warren County and the radio system. Um, and in good faith, worked with, with your <coughs> Omnicom. Um, totally understand uh, the judgment and the idea of slitting out the civil work. 
we did not want that to potentially, to Aaron's point, jeopardize the overall spend for the county knowing uh, the process that we've taken over the last couple of years just to get to where we're at. So uh, speaking with Aaron, Motorola is willing to basically keep that 9-5 number that we're at a couple of weeks ago that the that 911 board and EMA commission uh, approved um, until the end of, of August. So basically 60 plus days, we will keep that number. So if you are gonna go out to bid for the civil work um, and that does not come in favorable or, or whatever I mean, you decide to do, whether it's a lower or not lower, I mean, make your decisions, we'll, we'll keep that proposal as the specs are today. I mean, in terms of what the spec has kind of been moved to um, in that proposal two weeks ago, uh, we will keep our number whole um, if you choose to come back, I guess, uh, and fall back to the Motorola spec, or not spec, the Motorola civil portion of the proposal. So hopefully guaranteeing that through this process you're not opening yourselves up to having to be 9, 9, 10, 10, 5, instead of, uh, you'll know that you can go through your due diligence and, and about 60, 75 days here, uh, you can still have that 9, 5 number complete and move forward. And again, uh, we believe, I mean, to even hold a tighter timeline to come back and have that one uh, throat to choke, that one vendor controlling the timelines and moving forward for you. So. Brian, uh, I'm not so familiar with all this, but there are a couple of discounts. One's the, uh, June 25th, and the other one is um, what, 800,000. Correct. Are those reflected in that nine and a half million? They are, they are. So um, again, the original amount to get to the nine and a half was an $11 million number, and then with the incentives, it was about one and a half million to get that nine and a half million currently um, at the number and do some additional negotiating by by Aaron uh, we're at the 655 number for the civil remove so the radio and radio equipment numbers is 655 even um, that does have some of that incentive pulled out that was tagged and tied to the civil work um, that again that we still think is a very aggressive price so that will come back um, in if you decide to come in to be able to keep that 95 number whole um, and to Aaron's point, kind of the option one, option one A is um, that we discussed was that would be moving forward with the radio and radio project as it is today, potentially voting obviously yes for that and signing that by the June 25th day tomorrow to keep that incentive whole. Um, and then the one B would be the civil part coming back in at a later date after you bid out and made whatever decision you want with that. It gives you that option. So does that answer your question? Yes. that the Board of Supervisors adopt the resolution for the authorization of loan agreement, of a loan agreement and the issuance of not to exceed 10.8 million general obligation capital loan notes. Senator Tracy. Scholl? Aye. DeCook? Aye. McIntyre? Aye. The 
Motion carries and the resolution is adopted. The resolution states, section one, that this board does hereby institute proceedings and take additional action for the authorization and issuance in the manner required by law, if not to exceed 10.8 million general obligation capital loan notes for the foregoing essential county purposes. Section two, this resolution shall serve as a declaration of the official intent under Treasury Regulation 1.150-2 and shall be maintained on file as a public record of such intent. It is reasonably expected that the general fund monies may be advanced from time to time for capital expenditures, which are to be paid from the proceeds of, of the above notes. The amount so advanced shall be reimbursed from the proceeds of the notes not later than 18 months after the initial payment of the capital expenditures or 18 months after the property is placed in service. Such advancements shall not exceed the amount authorized in this resolution unless the same are for primary expenditures or unless another declaration of intention is adopted passed and then approved this 24th day of June, 2019. Okay. So you still have number three to do. Yep. Item number three of our agenda is consider 911 communication proposal equipment only with possible action to approve contract and authorize chair to sign.
then it comes down to do we bid the whole shooting match for the specs that we have and let Raytheon take a crack at it? Um, and my decision was sort of shaped uh, hearing, well, I sort of suspected, I, I made the answer to the question before when I, when I listened to our sheriff and others. Um, I did want to take a stab at it to see if we could sort of bend the rules of them and, and make use of that tower, which is on county and city ground anyhow, but it didn't work out. And so if, if Raytheon can't um, use that tower, I just think that that now delays the process more. I don't think that Motorola is going to come back at some tremendously less expensive number for what they've pitched thus far. I think they're probably going to hold tight to what they've already pitched to try and file or increase it. Um, and that doesn't make sense to me. So for those reasons, I'm going to be supportive of, um, of Motorola's equipment side of the deal with the understanding that the Sybils will get bid and that in 60 days or less, um, if they're unable to beat what now looks like $3 million for the civil side by a material number, then that we have one new option, which is sort of an attached number from Motorola at 9.5, which I would then also be supportive of. So by doing it that way, I think we've, um, I think we, we, will, we will have met our obligation to bid out what we needed to bid out. Um, we will give ourselves a shot to lower the, the overall cost in the event that some tower construction company can come in a material number lower than the three. For those reasons, I need a motion. I will make a motion to accept Motorola's proposal at $6.5 million with the understanding that they, they will honor in the 9.5 price within 60 days if the civil side doesn't come back materially cheaper, less expensive. And by less expensive, I mean if it's a dollar or $50 or something, I think we'll need to come back and look at that and say, does it make more sense from an efficiency standpoint to have Motorola be the sole captain of the ship driving it, or do we want to have two different entities working on this project, um, maybe not in an exact lockstep, um, for $50 or $1,000 or $10,000. By, by material, I think it needs to be a number, I'm not going to name it in my mind, but a number great enough to say, yeah, that's worth some inefficiency. And so I think we give the debating process to be open and transparent in 60 days. And then we know where we're at at the worst case scenario. So I'll make a motion for the 6.5 Motorola Physics System equipment portion. Slightly technical, but 6.55. Oh, 6.55.